Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be showing you how to transfer MicroPython files over different boards. So for example, from a Pi Moroni Tiny 2040 to a Raspberry Pi, or from a Raspberry Pi to a Raspberry Pi Pico. Why, you may ask? Well, when I'm programming my Raspberry Pi Pico in MicroPython, I may not have a window and just be on the shell, so I'll be using Vi as a text editor. So I won't be using Fonny, therefore I can't save the files onto my Pico. Well, I can transfer the files from my computer onto my Pico. Number two, sometimes Thonny just isn't the tool to be using for some projects, like if I'm transferring half a dozen files over, Thonny might not be the best thing to use. Number three, sometimes I just want to use my favourite text editor because maybe I might know my way around it better than Thonny. We're going to be showing you how to take files on and off your boards and run them using Ampi. Well, I call it Ampi, some other people may say Ampi, but I'm saying Ampi. We'll also show you how to do this on our shell and Minicom, but I find Ampi more reliable. Let's get started. We need to start off by making sure we have pip or pip3 Python package manager. I'm going to use a package manager to get a package manager. So I'm going to use sudo apt, which is, a, which is the package manager install and then python3 dash pip turns out i already had it we use pip3 the python package manager to get ampi i'm going to type sudo pip3 install adafruit dash ampi there we go it's installed if you type ampi it will give you a useful overview of what you can do. Briefly, you can get a file from the board, you can list the files that are on the board, you can make a new directory, you can remove a file from the board, you can remove a directory from a board, and you can run a script. I've purposely made things difficult here by connecting two boards to my Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi Pico and the Pimeroni Tiny 2040. Let's find these guys by typing ls minus al forward slash dev forward slash tty capital A capital C then star. There they are. That's just listed everything that starts with the letters before the star. Now I just don't know which one's which. I'll unplug this one, the Pico, and then I'll list the files again and by pressing up arrow enter and see which one was the Pico. Looks like this one's missing. So the one ending in 1 is the Pico and the one ending in 0 is the Pimeroni Tiny 2040. I'll just plug this back in. Let's list the files on this on my Pico using Ampi. So I'm going to go Ampi minus P and then where my Pico is, which is forward slash dev, forward slash tty, capital A, C, M, 1, and then the command, which is ls. And here are the Python files that are currently on my Pico. I'm going to press up arrow and then change this 1 to a 0, and I'll get the files that are on my tiny 2040. I'm just going to make a directory and then cd into it. So I've made that directory on my computer, not the boards. And then I'm going to type ampi. I'm going to ls minus al and it's empty. I'm going to take the files off this board and put it onto my Pi. And then I'm going to take the files off my Pi and put it onto this board using ampi. Let's start by listing the files on this board. Okay, I'm going to start by bringing main.py to my pi so i put the file i want to bring over and then i put what i want to call it on my pi which i'm just going to do main.py just to keep it simple let's see if that's worked we're going ls there we go we've got main.py on my pi time to do the other one same again but let's just change the file name to rgbled.py Okay, let's do ls. Okay, they're both on my Pi. So now it's time to bring the files off my Pi and onto this board. Okay, this 
this time we are going to go on not the one ending in zero but ending in one and we're going to use pot so let's start by putting main.py let's check that i've moved main.py onto this board there we go it's got main.py on now now it's time to do the other one Now let's check if both files are on this board. Yes, they're on. Now, finally, it's time to run them. Instead of put main.py, let's go run. I'm gonna press enter now. Three, two, one, go. Let's turn the lights off. This is just a simple script going through the colors of the rainbow. I've got another video going through that code. Also, I could have pressed the reset button and it would have run the script, but I wanted to show you how to run a script using Ampy. We have more luck with Ampy. Well, I call it Ampy. It's probably called Ampy. But there are other options like Rshell, for example. You can get this by going sudo pip3 install Rshell. It looks like I've already got it. It's the same principle we had in Ampy. We can go Rshell minus p or dash p forward slash dev forward slash t t y a c m oh, t t y a c m zero now we're kind of inside the device so now we can go boards not boards i meant be boards and that will list all of the boards we can go ls minus al forward slash pi board and it'll show us the files in here. You can go question mark and it'll show you all of the commands that you can run. I'll let you experiment with this. There is something really cool about our shell with REPL. We go REPL space pi board. Now we can control the board. I'm just writing some Python code to change the colour of this LED. What about, let's go 25. You can see it's colour, change colour. Let's go 220. That's a lovely colour. Um, and then if we want to get out of this, we go Control X. As you can see, we're still in our shell, and to get out of that, we go exit. And then we're back into my normal shell. As well as our shell, you can also get minicom. You can get this by going sudo apt install minicom. Looks like I already had it. And then you can go minicom minus or dash o then minus or dash capital D, then where our board is stored, which is forward slash dev, tty, capital A, C, M, zero. Then enter to get into REPL mode. Um, sometimes you have to go control C a couple of times. Sometimes you have to quit it, then go back into it to work. It's a bit dodgy. Now we're going to do the same code we did in our shell. Let's change the colour of this LED. So let's go... Let's do 37. That's quite a nice colour. Let's do another one. Let's go 88. Nice green. Um, let's do 55. Bit of a lime green. Although I could just press the reset button. In REPL, I can go Control D to reboot the Pico. As you can see, it's running the script we put on it. To leave this, you go Control A, then Z. And then you go X and then enter and you're out. So that is Minicom. We really hope you found this video useful. A few notes just before we leave. Um, all the code that we use in this video is on GitHub. The link should be in the description. And also, thank you so much for the amazing supportive comments that you guys have been giving us. I'm sorry if it takes us a while to reply to them. I think last night we spent an hour just replying to comments. All of us got together and did it. And we still didn't get through them all. So... It's a problem that we're really glad to have, so thank you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.